to another course um, I mean another tutorial video and this time it's building um, a dashboard or let's say a UI so I got this from I think UI 8 or I got it from one of the designing um, websites so we're gonna we're gonna look at how we can design or develop something like this in Vue.js so I think this is very simple we have a navigation bar at the top and then the sidebar with all the links and then I think the main page with um, the several jobs posted here so this is very simple so we're going to look at how we can develop something like this in Vue.js so um, let's get right to it so we open our terminal and we we'll navigate to the folder where we want to create our project so I have a folder called workspace where I put all my projects so here so we can say um, view create so you need to have the view CLI tool installed okay so you can just look out for it if you don't know what it is so so view create and we can call this um, what should we call this a job board okay job board um, let me just put a hyphen let's call it job board CMS I don't know if caps logs works but well job board CMS and we go enter so invalid name yeah I thought as much so let's just do it CMS or oh, another hyphen and then CMS all right so we're going to pick a preset so I'm going to go to manually select all the features so we look at what we can do so we go to manual yes we need barbell we need view router so you use a space bar to select and then the arrow key stop and down to move it so we need vuex mm, css preprocessor um come we need unit testing we need a linter we need a css preprocessor yeah okay so do you want to use history mode or router mode uh so yeah, so I'll use history. So history will just um add a hash thing to the URL. I don't know. So SAS or less or styler. So we use SAS, not SAS. And we just use yes lint and prettier. Um lint on save. We use just and in dedicated conf so where are you going to save all the config files? For the ESLint, Babel, Pose, and all that stuff. So you have to choose either you keep them in the package.json. So, but it's not, I don't, I don't like to keep everything in the package.json because it's going to be too big. So I want every, um, everything I'm using should be in its, its own dedicated config file. So you choose dedicated config file like that. And then save this as a preset. No, I don't want this as a preset. So there we go uh thing is loading so we wait for it to load and i'll come back 